In this video, we would like to spotlight the surgical technique of pentel operation. A transverse aortotomy is performed and the aneurysmal sac is opened. Now it is dissected from the surrounding pulmonary trunk and the underlying right pulmonary artery. Now we can see the three cusps of the aortic valve. The aortic cusps are excised. Appropriate sizing is important. The aneurysmal sac is dissected from the surrounding tissues. The left coronary pattern is developed by dissection from the underlying tissues. The right coronary pattern is developed too. Three suspension sutures are placed at the three commissures of the aortic valve to facilitate exposure. And now, horizontal interrupted mattress sutures are placed through the aortic annulus using two O polyester sutures. The sutures are passed through the Valsalva conduit. The sutures are taken in averting fashion and they are reinforced by Teflon plagiates. As we can see here. Now the Valsalva conduit is parachuted and lower in position. The sutures are tied. An ophthalmic diathermy is used to create the hole for the left coronary button. Anastomosis is performed using 5O polypropylene sutures. The needle should be passed perpendicular to the coronary pattern and to the graft in order to minimize anastomotic bleeding. Also, the stitches should be placed in a radial fashion. Anastomosis now is completed. The same is applied for the right coronary pattern. Anastomosis is performed in similar way. And now it is completed. Surgical glue is used to control stitch hole bleeding. After that, attention is paid to the distal anastomosis. The valsalva conduit is stretched and measured to the appropriate length, and it also it should be fashioned to be well aligned with the distal segment of the ascending aorta. Anastomosis is performed using 4O polypropylene suture and is completed. The patient is weaned from cardiopulmonary bypass and is decannulated. Now we can see the heart 
has a good contractility and a normal sign of stress. Thank you.